All right, in this video, we are going to do a follow up to the scrolling through events. And what was asked is uh, so look at this video if you haven't watched it. Um, and basically, what the end of that video or throughout that video, we end up ultimately doing uh, this where we can scroll through, you know, I think it was up to like 10 events, or maybe I changed it to 12 or something like that. But uh, as you can see, I do have these things scrolling and it will reset. I've covered all of that in the other video. However, what is asked is, can we show, you know, more than one event at a time? And then when we scroll this thing here, can we see like the next set, so to speak? So instead of us seeing one, imagine if we could see four of them here. And uh, then when I press that, I see the next four that come after. it. Does that make sense? So we, like, we would see event one, two, or well, I think it starts with event zero, one, two, three. And then we'd want to see, if we press that button, we want to see four, five, six, seven, press it again, eight, nine, 10, 11. And you could keep on going with this. And yes, there is a way you can do that. I want to show that to you right now. I'm using the same exact uh, preset that I had from my tutorial uh, that I did earlier. Now, what I'm going to do, though, is I'm going to come in here into event, and I'm going to edit that event. So instead of me doing zero, one, two, three, four, blah, 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 what I'm going to do is I'm going to do, I'm going to skip a few numbers. So I'm going to show four at a time. And then I'm after I press the arrow button to progress to the next four, I'm going to show the next four. And then I'll show the next four. So here's what we're going to do. We're going to do um, zero. And then we'll have zero, one, two, three. So then what comes after that would be uh, four. Because zero, one, two, three, that would be four events. So then I have four, and I'm going to think four, five, six, seven. So then I want to pick up at eight, and then I'll pick up at, say, 12. As you can see, we have a little pattern here. Um, now you might say, why am I skipping them? Well, watch how I do the coding. So zero, four, eight, 12. And I'm going to click OK on that. And I'll set this to zero. And now let's go back to our text for the event. And just for the sake of this video, what I'm going to do, because I don't know what's going to be showing up, I'm going to take out the um, da, 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 what am I doing uh, I'm gonna take out the title I'm just gonna show you that, that you'll see that the dates and times will change I'm just gonna take away the name because there's no telling what you might be seeing up here in my schedule over the next uh, I don't know how far this would go ahead but there we go now that's just one event so here's what we got to do notice I did a little I skipped some numbers so I'm gonna copy this I'm going to enter down and I'm gonna enter down one more time and I'm going to uh, paste. Now all we have to do here, so notice we got the same event, but if we come here and we find that code for GV event, if I do GV event plus one, check it out. What it's doing is it's taking whatever my event is. Right now it's zero, so it's taking zero plus one. I need to come here and put a plus one on all these. So uh, plus one. This is, so this is, if this is event zero, this is event zero plus one, which is, you know, one. All right. Copy and paste this. Uh, let's see. I might better use my stylus. Or my, yeah, there, that's working pretty good. All right. Copy. I'm going to enter down two spaces and I'm going to paste. Now. This is event zero, this is event one, because that's zero plus one. Now I want to do plus two. And just make sure wherever you put that GV event, like I did in the previous video, make sure you go back and change both of those codes. And of course, I got rid of my titles, like I said, but uh, boom. So that's zero, one, two. And now again, it's all about adding GV event, which right now is zero plus two. So zero, one, two. Let's do this one more time. I'm going to enter down. And now I want to be plus three. So three. And I'm going to do a three here. All right. And that should be good. So as we can see here, one, two, three, four events. And now let's just watch the dates um, because we've, we will see these dates change. Now let's think about this. Uh, right now in my global is set to zero. But remember, we can do 0, 4, 8, or 12. Now, the reason why I picked that because I'm showing four events right now. Right now, I'm so showing 0, and then this is 0 plus 1, so that's 1. This is 0 plus 2, so that's 2. This is 0 plus 3, so therefore that's 3. The next event would be 4. 
Well, that's when I come in here and I'm going to touch this arrow and boom, it's going to go to that one. So this is 4. 4 plus 1 is 5. 5 plus 1 is 6. 6 plus 1 is 7. So what should come next when I press the arrow? 8. You see what I'm saying? 8. 8 plus 1 is 9. 9 plus 1 is 10. 10 plus 1 is 11. What comes next? 12. 12 plus 1 is 13. Thir uh, 12 plus 2 is 14. 12 plus 3 is 15. I hope that makes sense. Now, you can come here and add even more now. You can you can list for the rest of your life if you wanted to, I guess. I don't know. Um, or you can, you know, put more events up here. But if you want to list, like, say, six of them or something like that, then you'd have to space out these numbers again. But since I'm showing every four, it, this is going to cover 0, 1, 2, and 3, 4, 5, 6, and 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, and then 12, 13, 14, 15. So I hope you see that pattern there. You have to gap those out if you want to see even more events. But I'll tell you what, enough of the talking. Let's save this. Let's go back to the home screen and let's scroll through them. Okay, so as you now, okay, this right here is the beginning. So because right now I think, what's today's date? Uh, February 24th. Okay, so February 24th, 25th, 26th, 26th, 28th, 28th. As you can see, we are going chronologically. Uh, March, yep, and... March, yep. And now when I press this again, it's going to cycle that thing. So I haven't changed any of the uh, touches up here in this. All I did was just went in here and added a few more, and I just did like the GV event plus one, the GV event plus two, the GV event plus three. And I hope that makes sense. But yeah, that's how you can quickly do that. Add as many events as you want, and then still keep these the same way we had them back in the previous video. And that's it for this video. Hope it helped.